Welcome to Friday's edition of the Warrior Daily. I am Adam Bouton, joined today by women's tennis coach Sheila Snyder. Uh, we just got back from the GLIAC tournament. Um, you guys performed very well reaching the finals for the, uh, you know, the first time in program history. Before we get into that final match, uh, maybe talk about um, the quarterfinal and semifinal match against uh, Ashland and then Tiffin. Okay, we uh, came in against Ashland. We came out really, really strong. Uh, we took all three doubles matches, which hasn't been the case all year, so that kind of gave us a little breathing room. And then um, my number three singles, Andrea Matraki and Ann Lee, they were both on the court next to each other, and <clears throat> they uh, they had some pretty quick matches. Mm -hmm. So I said we were we're out of that match in less than two hours. So that, that was pretty good. While the other teams were playing, we were getting something to eat and getting rested for our next day's match against Tiffin. And uh, it, was, it was a fairly close match against Tiffin last night, uh, last time we played them. So for them being the number three seed, mm -hmm. uh, they, were, they were hungry. They were out to get us. And, uh, again, we, um, you know, we ended up going up 2-1 um, after doubles. Uh, we lost at number two doubles, but their number two doubles had not lost all year. So that that was a very, very tough match. So we went up 2-1, and then um, the kids just fought really hard, and, and then we were able to pick up the next uh, three flights. So, again, you know, somewhat of a quicker match, um, you know, to, again, get home and, and get ready for Northwood. And then we stepped into Northwood, and we found ourselves down one, two, and doubles, so we knew we, we really needed to, to play tough for singles. And, you know, Northwood's just, they're, they're just a great team. They have a number one who was player of the year, you know, five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we couldn't beat her back then. I mean, she, she was solid, and she just brings to the team at number one doubles, you know, just the maturity, you know, and, and she's just solid in every aspect of her game. So we unfortunately we weren't able to take the number one double spot, which we had all year, mm -hmm. and um, so we went down one two. You know, our number two doubles team actually played incredible, and we won at number two doubles and three doubles. Again, they faced a team who had not lost all year as well. So, so we found ourselves in a hole. But I have to say, we we played extremely hard. You know, down the stretch, everybody gave it their all. And at the end, you know, the score was 2-5. Uh, but we had two matches on that I believe we would have won. Uh, Andrea uh, Mitraki was, uh, had, like, match point, And she faced a girl who had not, had not lost at all, all year. So I think that was a surprise, you know, to Northwood because she was, Andrea had missed the last time we played them. So I do think we would have taken the last two matches. And unfortunately... You know, I'm I'm disappointed that we didn't win, but again, we we lost to a really, really, really tough team, and and I could not ask for anything better from the girls. They gave it their all, you know, from the very first match of the tournament to the very last match. It was a good building process, so I think we learned a lot. Maybe talk about, uh, you know, just you know, it was the number one versus the number two team in the finals. You know, it was kind of the matchup everybody was maybe looking for. I mean, what was the atmosphere like on that Sunday morning, you know, as you guys faced off against each other? Uh, actually, the guys' team ended up coming up, so all, almost every single guy in the men's team came up. So even though it was Northwood's home court, you know, mm -hmm. per se, yep. uh, our crowd was very, very rowdy, and, um, you know, every single point they were, they were cheering. So could not ask for a better atmosphere. I mean, the support was there from the staff. Um, so, you know, it was, it was everything a first and second place, uh, you know, championship match should have been. And now uh, you guys get a little bit of a break, uh, you know, for the winter. Uh, you know, talk about maybe, um, you know, what is it like for the student athletes as you have a break until next February when you get back going up again? Well, the kids need a break. Heck, I need a break. <laughs> we all need a break. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's been, even though it's 10 weeks, it's... You know, it's a long 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, we play almost every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, you know, the kids, they just need some time to, you know, let their bodies heal. Uh, you know, they have to get caught up on their homework. So, you know, I gave them this week off, and then next week they're just going to do conditioning uh, a couple days a week. And then, um, you know, continue throughout that till next semester. And then once next semester starts, you know, we'll get back in it again and, you know, start practicing for another season. You know, our, our goal is to get to the uh, NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. yep. And, uh, you know, we'll go to Florida, play, you know, play about 10 matches and uh, 
hopefully that will prepare us. Like I said, we'll, we'll get into the GLIAC or the NCAA tournament and uh, you know have some great matches to prepare us for it to do well. Well, thanks for joining us today, Coach. Thank you. And thanks for joining us for the Warrior Daily.